So, <clears throat> I bought a laptop from Costco. This is a Lenovo. This was on sale for like $200. So, I got it because I needed it for class. It had 4 gigabyte of RAM and Windows 11, was it S mode or something? So, I found out when the laptop is in Windows S mode, you cannot download any other apps besides the one that was approved by Microsoft because you have to go to that. So that's why I have to disable Windows S mode and then just change it back to regular Windows 11s. But then I realized that when I disable the Windows 11 S mode, uh, it's it's getting really slow because I think the this one had like a Pentium Silver. I think it was like. 2 core 4 thread and also 4 gigabyte of RAM is very slow to run Windows. Well, except if you have like a Chromebook. So, because when I try to open like multiple apps and also Chrome, Google Chrome, try to open like maybe 4, 5, 6 tabs at a time, it's slow to a crawl pretty much. So, when I look it up, apparently there's a way to make it a little bit faster without upgrading the processor because I Processor and the memory is already installed on here, which is the Pentium Silver plus 4 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. The RAM is soldered in, but apparently I found out that it also had expandable storage options available for you. So to save time, I remove all the screws already. So you need to remove all the screw here in the back. I have a laptop right here. I have all of them removed right here. And you need the RAM. So I bought this from Amazon. It's a crucial 8GB of RAM. This is a DDR4. 3200 MHz. So dim. Because you need what it calls a laptop memory. It's a lot smaller than the PC one. So this one I bought it from Amazon. It's Right now it's on sale for $25. It's that 3200 MHz. No, no, it's, I'm sorry, it's 3200 hertz, millihertz, I think. So this is a CL22 volt. So this laptop, when I look up the specs, it used memory DDR4 2933 megahertz for the memory. But this one is actually down, uh, it's 3200, but it's if your uh, laptop is only U2933, it's automatically pretty much slow it down to 29. So it should work for, fine perfectly. So this one, so again, this one is from Amazon, $25. I'll include a link in the description if you want. Also the laptop, I got this from Costco, 200, 200 it was on sale. So 200 plus shipping, like $15 plus tax, so about 227 for the laptop. That's tax and everything included. And this one is the memory stick, it's 8 gigabyte. So dim is a memory laptop. It's about $25, so tax maybe $28, $29. Okay, so remove all the screw here. And remove the cover. And as you can see, this is the battery. Apparently there's a way to uh, upgrade the uh, hard drive. Right now, this one has only had 128 gigabyte hard drive, but I'm not touching the hard drive. I just use this laptop basically to type Word documents and my essay and all that, so I don't need all that. So the location here, as you could see, so this is a Wi-Fi card. I don't need to upgrade the Wi-Fi, it can attach Wi-Fi just fine. But the memory, this is the memory slot right here. If you look at it, it looked exactly, it's the perfect spot to fit it in. So this is how you upgrade the memory. So right now it has a 4 gigabyte of memory, 4 gigabyte of RAM. It's too slow. It can't run Chrome very well. So this is why I'm going to add it in. So this is an 8 gigabyte stick. So I'm going to add it in. So I have a total of 12 gigabyte. This is plenty. Let's see which way go in. This way. Because you see right here it had a like it's like a little teeth or something like that. A groove right here supports in. Let's see, this way. Okay, yep, this way right here. So you're gonna put it in a slight, at a slight angle, push it in, and then push it down. 
Yep. And that's it. Now it is laptop. We have instead of four gigabyte of RAM, now we have twelve gigabyte of RAM because the additional RAM that I put in. So now this thing should run pretty fast. That means if you use this for Word document, uh, browsing the web, and then I mean this is not designed for like gaming kind of stuff. You can do like basic game, but that would expect a lot of from this two hundred dollar laptop. So now it should bring pretty quick. Now you just so run pretty quick and looks everything fine yeah I think it's maybe the yeah the SSD is probably right here or something like that but I'm not touching it I just need a little bit quicker when I open Chrome so now I should be able to open like 50 60 tabs of Chrome while running out of program with so because Google Chrome is very memory extensive extensive I mean so, but with 12 gigabyte of RAM, sure should be plenty. So, so this is how you upgrade your memory for your laptop. But the thing is, not every laptop had a extra space for memory upgrade. So make sure your model support it. I don't know about a Chromebook, but for this particular laptop, there's a spot. So that's, that's all you need. Buy this extra memory module. Remember, it had to be laptop memory. Laptop memory it costs so dim. It's a lot smaller than the PC. The P PC memory is pretty big. I mean, it's probably maybe twice twice the size. So then you just find an empty slot, put it in, and now this is secure. And then you just put the cover back on. So that's it. That's how you upgrade your laptop memory. Uh, thank you.